Next question is Philippe Lambert. Yes, Commissioner, I think that you and I share the vision that we will not get Europe out of, the, out of the crisis without a much deeper fiscal, hence political, integration. But that will not happen if all citizens do not recognize the legitimacy of decisions being taken. And when I read the new proposal from the Commission, basically they boil down to the fact that the Commission gives itself additional powers to basically overrule national governments and all national parliaments, and this without any credible checks and balances. In other words, Council and Commission working behind closed doors will be able to overrule national democracies. Well, I would like to stress the fact that what Angela Merkel does when she asks for a vote of the Bundestag before coming to Brussels, very few, if any other, government leader in Europe are doing that. So parliaments, national parliaments are already out of the loop. And so what we say is that EU, at EU level, the key acts of the Commission, and by that I mean annual growth survey, multi-year strategy, and the decision to intervene in, an, in a state that faces emergency, needs to be debated and endorsed by the European Parliament. And similarly, the NRPs, the SCPs, basically the commitments that member states take towards the Union, have to be debated and voted in the national parliaments. That's the bare minimum to ensure democratic legitimacy. Sorry. I'll fine you ten seconds next time. Um, Mr. Schuntis, one minute.